What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Smoking Jazz Barbecue. Today we're going to be cooking some hot and fast brisket. Man oh man, we're talking about hot and fast, just like the Fast and Furious. We're going to smoke it, we're going to give it that good flavor, and it's going to be so juicy, tender, and moist, guys. Y'all stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's turn the power on. As you can see, currently we're at 65 degrees right outside my uh, backyard. And we're gonna open the lid. And open your smokestack if you have one. All right, folks, as you see, we got smoke coming out of the chamber and it's time to close the lid. And we're just gonna crank our temps up to 400 degrees. And we're gonna let this come off the tank because we're cooking hot and fast brisket, guys. <sighs> I wish you guys can smell the aroma. That perfect combination blend from pit balls. Oh man, that hickory, that maple, and that apple. It's a perfect combination, guys. Oh man. Oh, it smells so good. I know my neighbors are hating me, but the show must go on. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's talk about the step process of what we got going on today. Basically, what we got going on is we took our brisket, we trimmed about a quarter inch of uh, fat remaining on that entire brisket, and it was about a 14 pound of brisket that we are doing for an event, and we're going to be doing it hot and fast. Fast and furious, just like the movie. <laughs> so, guys, what we're going to do is basically cook it at 400 degrees, and then we're going to check it every hour and spritz it. I'm going to use a water pan to place in here to give additional moisture because we're cooking it at a 400 degrees temperature. It's going to be really, really hot. So I don't want my brisket to dry up that quick. So I want to make sure it can retain some moisture. And that's why we're going to leave a water pan and spritz it at the same time to give it that double moisture. All right. So the beautiful thing what we did with the brisket, we trimmed it up to a quarter inch of worth of fat. And we uh, inject it with some beef consomme, let it sit overnight, and we just season it. I'm looking for about a three or four hour cook, and then we're gonna finish it off until we get the 205 mark. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna show you how to do this. You want some brisket, boy? <laughs> you see, so wet. <laughs> oh man. All right, guys, so we're looking about uh, over 525 degrees uh, on our pit balls. And take a look at our brisket, guys. Oh yeah. We're gonna do this hot and fast, and our internal temp is 410 degrees. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna place this brisket inside of here. I'm gonna use a water pan as we stated, and I'm gonna place it right in the corner. This is the point and this is flat. This is where my hot zone comes at. So I got this, as you can see, it's aerodynamic. It's nice and flat. And what that means is that it's gonna cook evenly throughout the entire brisket. With the moisture from this water pan and the uh, heat source coming from here, it's gonna penetrate this nice and beautiful. Again, we're cooking at a 400 degrees temperature. So we definitely need that water pan to give it some moisture. And make sure you stretch this out as much as possible letting out as much as possible. That way, this brisket can cook thoroughly and evenly. Oh man, I can't wait. All right guys, so we're gonna close the lid and let us do his magic and we're gonna let it rock and roll. Hey buddy. <laughs> My boy is ready for some brisket. <laughs> Just a little quick sign note guys, I did not place a meat probe or a meat thermometer inside the or the middle of that brisket and the reason why is because i want it to have a particular type of color and since we're cooking it at 400 degrees i want to make sure it get to that particular color quick hot and fast so after the first or second hour that's when i'm gonna place my meat probe in and then monitor where we at till we get to that star zone so right now we're gonna spritz it every hour. We're gonna check it in. We got a water pan inside the pit boss Austin XL, and that's gonna help produce that moisture to make sure that our brisket does not dry up. Oh yeah. Take a look at that guys. 
Alright folks, we're still maintaining 380 and it's been about half an hour at this point. I just want to make sure we're looking at it. Oh man. Take a look at that guys. Oh yeah. At this point I'm gonna add my meat probe and we're gonna check the temperature. See that guys, 172. Wow. It's only been an hour and a half. Actually, 174 now guys. What I'm gonna do is turn this down to 300 and let it finish up. But I am gonna stretch it though. Hot and fast, guys. This is definitely hot and fast. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Just like a steak. 174. We already punched right through the stalls. And so I'm not even going to wrap this, guys. I'm going to let this go just the way it is. Um, like I said, I just turned the temperature down to 300. And we're going to let this rock and roll till we get to 205. Alright guys, so let's talk about that hot and fast method we just did to get to that 174 mark. And that's in Fahrenheit by the way. So basically we cooked it an hour and a half at this particular point and we got to 174. Man, we punch right through that stall zone and we're going to keep it going till we get to 205. Every half an hour, I'm gonna spritz it, and I did turn the temperature down to 300. We started at 400, but now it's gonna be 300 for the rest of the cook. So I'm looking at maybe about another hour, hour and a half, maybe two, we'll see. But that's how we're gonna be finishing this off. The beautiful thing about this cook is that we're doing it hot and fast. So an hour and a half, and we got to 174. Man, at 400 degrees, that's extremely fast for the pit bulls to excel. And remember, this is a 14 pounder, man. 14 pound of brisket. Woo! 174 guys. Hot and fast. It can be done on the pit boss Austin Excel. Guys, it's been about another half an hour. We're looking at 189. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Take a look at that guys. Oh man. Beautiful. Oh, oh. Ah, this is talking pack moment, guys. Ah, ah. <laughs> My boy, men's best friend, right? <laughs> All right, guys. So basically, what we're gonna do? We're gonna finish this off, man. It's almost about that time that we're hitting at that 205 mark. We're gonna let that rest for about two hours or more, and that is the dreadful moment about cooking a brisket. Everybody gotta go through it. If you don't, your brisk is gonna be tough. I promise you that. So you gotta let it rest for a minimum of one to two hours. Make sure you guys insulate that, uh, you know, that brisket with some little heavy duty aluminum foil, wrap it with some towels, and you can place that, in, you know, in your cooler or in your oven. And just forget about it for about two hours, guys. And then we're gonna do the taste test, and that's gonna be the best part of this video. Hot and fast brisket. Take a look at that guys, wow. She is pretty. Oh man. Yeah, that part. Yep, it is there. Always guys, use an insulated glove, just like so, in order to pull this off because you don't want to ruin that bark. 
after you accomplish this beautiful cook, that's the last thing you want is to ruin that part. All right, guys, I'm gonna pull this off and take it to the kitchen, and we're gonna wrap this up in some heavy duty aluminum foil. All right, take a look at our brisket, guys. Man, oh man, as you can see, it shrunk down. So I said, this is still about a good 10, 11 pounds. Since it started as a 14 pounder, and you see it was a lot bigger in the uh, beginning of the video, but now it's a lot smaller. So we're gonna slice it into this and see what it looks like inside. Take a look at that, guys. Wow, hot and fast. Ooh, baby. Look at the bent test. Oh, I'm trying to let it stand on its own, but this is the bent test, as you can see. And it's not breaking apart. Look at that smoke one, guys. Oh, man. It's phenomenal. Here's this. So let's do the best part of the video. This is the point, obviously, but let's take a, a taste test real quick. Mm. Mm. Moist, packed with flavor. The steak seasoning, the Pippo's Java Chop House is definitely shiny and coming through. Oh man, I gotta have another bite. It's very good. Like I said, you can do hot and fast. And we did it in less than three hours. Can't beat that. If you like grilling and chilling and barbecuing, make sure you subscribe to this channel right now. Share this video with all your family and friends. And until next time, this is Smoking Jazz. Bye.